Hi everyone, Kim here with Sunshine Creations and Crafts and welcome to the Daily Motivational Project which is Stamp It Tuesday. Now um, a couple days ago I was YouTube surfing and um, trying to get inspired and ideas on doing stamping on cards. Now that is the reason why I added this to my mot motivational projects because I don't do a lot of stamping and I love stamping. I just, the I ideas just don't flow easily for me. So I'm going to do this card here. Now um, I found this from Dawn Noshevsky and her YouTube channel is Do Stamping and it's really cute. Uh, her whole uh, production it, it comes up it says how'd she do that and I love this one and she called this um, uh, triple time stamping. So we're going to do this. It's, it's going to turn out really pretty. I hope. <laughs> Alright so I'm starting out with a typical A2 size card base, um, you know, cutting the card at five and a half by, sorry, five and a quarter by, no, five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm um, just squirted at the four and a quarter. Now I did something a little different than she did. She had used a um, darker card base and put the insert on the inside. So I decided to go ahead and do a lighter card base and I'm going to do um, the same size base on the card, uh, same size mat sort of thing on the card base. And then I'm going to do um, layering like this. So, but the first thing we want to do, and I will go through each size as I'm doing the stamping. We want to layer our, our mats. First mat is five and a quarter by four. And we want to just slightly adhere it so it stays down when we're stamping. And it might be hard to see white on white. And then the next mat is four and a quarter by three. And then the next mat is three and a quarter by two. Now I've chosen a flower stamp that I've had for a really long time, so I'm not really sure where I got it from. Um, I'm going to be using two different colors. I'm going to be using Strawberry Slush from Stamping Up, and I'm also going to be using Primrose Petals. And I absolutely love um, the quality of these stamps. I got mine from Janice Lewis, and I will put her information on here for you. And I'm going to just... Um, go back and forth to the colors and I'm not going to wipe off my um, ink. I'm going to let it kind of mix up a little bit. And let me put something underneath this. I thought I'd find a piece of scrap paper here. Should have bought that. So I've thought about that ahead of time. All right, let's re-ink. And again, I apologize. I have white on white again. So the way um, Dot did it was basically just kind of stamping like so. My mat's not down well enough. Um, here and there. Like I said, I'm alternating colors. They're very similar colors. I'm going to put my sentiment right there so I don't want to stamp there. I'm not doing such a great job stamping, am I? I'm going to push a little harder. Oops, my mat moved. It depends on, you know, how much... Um, how many flowers that you want on it. When you're stamping you can do a lot or a little. Make it subtle or make it very florally. I just made up a word. Ok, 
Okay, and I think one of the very cool things about this is when you lift up the mats, you have frames. And the first thing that popped into my head was, oh my gosh, I'm going to do this for a layout. <laughs> so let's put the slits on. Oops, about the camera there, sorry about that. <clears throat> And I'll take it apart and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you have a frame. Why can't you not put a picture in there, right? How cute. All right. And we'll set the scrap paper aside. And we'll put our card together. If you guys know of any, um, if you're recommending any YouTube channels where the um, person does stamping on cards, uh, would you mind just letting me know? Um, I have a few that I, I watch, but I, I really want to get into this more. I do a lot of die cutting on my cards, you know, putting embellishments from my Cricut and my Silhouette, but I really, I really love the look of stamping. Okay, so that's my card base. One of the things that um, Don did that um, I was kind of back and forth about, I liked it how it looked on her card, but I'm not really sure I'm going to do it on mine, and that is how she wrapped a piece of ribbon around um, the layers of the card and my final decision maker was not to do it because I don't really have I mean I have like this sheer color which I think would look okay but I really wanted something a bit brighter that I, I just couldn't find oh wait I take that back my lighting is Kind of off. I don't know. I don't know if that would work. You know what? I'm not going to do the ribbon. I'm just not feeling it. All right, so we're going to take the next mat and um, base is four and a quarter by four and a half by three and a quarter. four and a quarter by three inch mat. Got a little overzealous with the glue there. And I am going to be making this card for my grandma. She is going to be 99 years old in May. And she is just right there as far as um, functioning. She's in a wheelchair, but she cooks for herself. She lives at home. And, uh, it's, it's amazing. Okay, so I'm going to erase my little writing there. I could have flipped that over and stamped it. And I'm going to stamp my sentiment. And I'm using... The um, Happy Mother's Day design stamp from Hero Arts, and I'm stamping Grandma, you're so special. And I truly hope that this is going to fit. I'm gonna make it fit. How's that? I'm gonna put that right there. And I'm just gonna grab my Memento black tuxedo ink. You know, I'm even thinking if it goes over, it'll go over on the pink part. So let's go ahead and glue that down. Grandma, you're so special. No, I like it this way.
Now I've had that stamp set for years. I'm sure it's still available, but I have had it for a very long time. Wipe that off so it doesn't get on my card. Okay. And down. Oh my gosh. She is just going to be so... Oh. Um, I had recently visited her. It's so funny, every time I go see her, she lives in a um, town called Lompoc. And um, it's up by the Vandenberg Air Force Base. I don't need to take that off right now. And she, um, every card that I have ever sent her, and I started card making, oh, maybe five years ago. She's kept, she has a little box, and she keeps all my cards, and it's just so special. Alrighty, so that is her Mother's Day card. I think inside here, I'm going to go ahead, thinking of you, especially today, because I'm not going to be able to go up and see her for Mother's Day. Um, I'm going to say thinking of you because I won't be there. But I think of her. She's a neat lady. Let's stamp that in there, and then I just had a thought, I think I'm going to go ahead and stamp, since I have a little bit of time here in the video, I'm going to go ahead and stamp a few of these flowers. I always stick my finger in the ink. I'm just going to use one color this time. going crazy with this, aren't I? And I'll put one right here where I'm going to sign my name. Alrighty, so yeah, like I said, I would really appreciate some recommendations on some websites, um, or, if, or not websites, blogs, or YouTube channels, whatever you guys want to do, just so, um, you know, I can get some tutoring, because I'm not very good at this. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I guess this will be my first Mother's Day card. Um, it's also the uh, Daily Motivational Project for Stamp It Tuesday. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.